What's up guys? Welcome to Turks and Caicos Islands. This is our third trip here as Beneath the Waves and this is our most significant one yet. We're really looking forward to getting out there and starting to do actual shark tagging here in Turks and Caicos. First for us as an organization, what we've been focusing on mainly here has been trying to collect non-invasive information on shark populations through baited underwater video cameras and also now deep drop cameras to look at deep ocean habitats. But today's kind of forging new ground. Really cool time of year too because this is the beginning of the overwintering period for humpback whales and their calves. So a lot of life here. Um, continually amazed at how healthy some of the reefs here are. Really good shark populations and lots of marine mammals. So we're really excited to get out there today and uh, start collecting some of the data. On this third trip, you would need to bring in Jason, our logistics and operations manager, to help us with specifically shark handling, shark tagging, but also our deep sea research, bringing down expensive, large, bulky pelican cases filled with deep sea instruments is no small task, so I really needed to rely on Jason for that one, as well as Alyssa, who'd been on a previous trip. She's great with the GoPros, so that was really just her job, is to just manage all of the brub data, shallow and deep water brubs. And of course, we can't forget Jamie is really the glue that binds all of us together, it's making sure that everything's flowing and she was not even hesitating one second to jump in on cutting bait. So we brought Natalie, who's a new friend with us, has been helping us on our social media and content side to really figure out what's the best way to spread the message of this work across social media platforms. And lastly, you know, we knew that we want to start really telling the story of this incredible place. So we had to bring our full content team down here. We got Diego down here to really assist with a lot of the in-water content. He's really like our Aquaman, has been for a lot of years. And then also newcomer Wilson Haynes to really shoot a lot of BTS and really just provide some cover fire for Sammy and Diego as they begin to tell this awesome story. It's time to go deep. We brought our deep sea drop cameras and literally dropped them off the side of the boat into depths ranging from 600 to 3,000 feet. Helping us understand what these deep water habitats look like in terms of sharks and other types of fish biodiversity in the Caribbean. Well, we just deployed a deep sea instrument camera here in the deep water shelf of Turks and Caicos. Probably the first time it's ever been done in the area. I, I doubt it's been done before and it's super exciting to just have the whole team helping out here. Now we're at 84 meters. Okay, so it's at about 250 foot right now, it's sinking, which is good. We don't have good depth readings from this area, so it's a little bit of, you know, hopefully it's not too deep, but we're not that far out, so pretty confident. It does get really deep really quickly here, which is good, and there's actually a lot of sharks that are kind of living right on that slope. A nice slope that goes down. So, so what kind of sharks are we looking what to find? Um, six gill sharks, seven gill sharks, they're prehistoric animals. <clears throat> a lot of biodiversity down there. 108 meters. Uh, and then also what's really cool is that we have surface dwelling sharks like tigers and silkies and sometimes even reef sharks that do go down to those depths. So, it's amazing. Yeah, it's like a stand by guys, put it in the water. All right, if the next one's at like around 300 to 310 in the next 20 seconds, then I feel like it's around, at yeah, around 300. Another 60 feet, another, it's still moving 15 feet a second, which is it's still dropping. We dropped it here in sort of this eight, nine hundred foot range. Um, we're just a little concerned that it might actually slide off the edge. Um, if it does slide off the edge, the good news here is that the bottom is at four thousand feet, 
this thing's rated to 6,000 feet, it's, it's gonna be perfectly fine. If we got nervous and it was the numbers kept climbing, we could always hit the release code, ramp back to the surface and start over. Um, about 4.30. I think, I think we're gonna be okay here. Um, hey, Cap! Did we hit bottom? We stationed? Yeah, we, we think we hit bottom, but like 450 meters. You know meters better than most. What is that? Times, well, times, times three, three, times two, four, Very right? deep. <laughs> Beyond what we, where we can go. We'll find some big, big sharks, I hopefully. Hope so. filming with the sand as well. Sharks didn't come yet, but we're waiting for them. Really beautiful little sandy reef there, a little patch, so definitely not a lot of little sharks, which might be a good thing because this is tiger shark habitat for sure. I'm gonna go pick up the brub that we dropped in about 20 feet of water. And um, yeah, I'm gonna pull it up, see what we get, and um, catch the footage later. Uh, the bait arm is ripped out. I mean, that's a guaranteed shark for sure. So hopefully the bait arm is you know around the actual grub. So that means that a shark probably pulled it out and it just dropped it. So they're going to look for it, but if they can't find it, then that essentially means that a bigger animal probably grabbed it and swam with it, which could be something like a tiger shark. They, they are known to do that. They actually sometimes bite camera rigs underwater in the Bahamas and will swim away with them. So only time will tell. It's going to be fun to review the footage later tonight. <laughs> this is completely mangled, man. PVC is F. Um, definitely a big reef shark or tiger. Or it could have been a nurse that like got into the brub and broke it, but Divers a nurse rare. shark's not capable of pulling the actual bait arm out, really. He's following the shark. Or that might be the brub. What do you think, Nat? Amazing! Saw the shark very briefly, but then he took off. Did you get the bait out or just still in there? Bait's still, Bait's still in there. Yeah. So glad you saw a shark. Yeah. Saw one before me. Awesome. Lucky. Lots of teeth marks on the rub. Nice. Well, did it come up or did it stay down? Stay down. Did it look at you? He like he was just like swimming. He's kind of swimming towards it and then went away. But it was it was pretty far already. Couldn't really get a shot. But it's always nice to see a wild shark. But it was awesome to see it. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. In this beautiful magical place. Turks yeah. and Caicos, beautiful island. Coming up slow. Coming up. 
Hi guys, straight, 11 o'clock, right over there. See it's black. Isn't that amazing? Wow. I mean, not to jinx it, I do have 100% success rate for covering these, but there's always a chance it doesn't. Anytime you put something into the ocean, you have to expect that you're never going to see it again, even when it's worth 13 grand. So, you know, it's all about just taking those risks, just trusting the technology. The most exciting part of these expeditions is at the end of the day, after dinner, we're able to kind of kick back and review all the footage from our day's research. Looking at the brubs, shallow and deep, and scrubbing through all of the footage and just hoping something awesome is going to show up. So obviously, we don't want to bias our research, but it's always really exciting when a new species, a new shark, or something really unexpected happens on camera. <laughs> the end of the day. Um, right now we are reviewing the footage that we got on our deep sea brub today. So we got some deep house, deep sea, watching the brub go down. And we haven't watched this yet, so we don't know what we're going to find, but we're, we're having fun on the way. Wilson's ready. Yeah. <laughs> you, you gotta come check this out though. This is movie really, night, like, movie night. <laughs> it's your sweet angel, like, little, 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 Look at the like, shape of it. So we're likely about perfect. to see so the quickly. light yeah. change um, because this, from how deep did we make it on this Around 500 meters. 500, 500 meters, yeah, after 200 foot. I so. think it slid a little bit, we'll see, because it wasn't right there. The quality is kind of crazy. Let's go, Brad. So this is what it looks like 1,500 feet below where we were today. Without the lights, you'd be able to see nothing. Yeah. Oh. Squid. Oh. No, it's a shark. Oh, what? A little shark. Oh, yeah, it's, a, it's a little one. It's a little one. Tiny, it's a tiny, shark. Tiny, tiny, yeah. like it's a Cuban, ten minutes after we dropped Cuban, it. Cuban dogfish. See it right there. Wow. Oh, we've got those. Yeah, we've got those. Yeah. Little guy, living on the slope. He's mini. How big is he? Uh, probably two or three foot. Mm -hmm. size of oh, there we oh, go. Oh, 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 oh. There it is. Oh, that's pretty cool. It was definitely him. <laughs> is, that your, is that your scientific opinion? Or? I think he did it. Wow. Oh, now he's fired up. Look at this though. Come on. How cool is this? Oh, oh hey. 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 Selfie. Photo bomb. What's up, oh, buddy? God. Look at oh that. God, awesome. It does look like an alien. It does, yes. It does. It looks like a lab ah, specimen. Look the size of the eye. Because they're so deep, right? I mean, yeah. yeah, you need need all that light. Yeah. Female. Oh God. <laughs> I just love it. Cool. One hour later. What are you hearing on these brubs right now? Whale City. It's amazing. So many whales. <laughs> Listen to that. It's insane. Wow. <laughs> Wow. So impressive that it picks up audio. Just trying to get a bite. Roger, he opens the bill. Look, oh, it's so oh. cool. It's a fish. They're a fish, which is crazy. What kind of deal is that? Um, look at it lifting on you. He was already hiding down in the hole. The crazy thing is that's what sharks look like when they go under the bro, too. Yeah, it backs up. They look like they go to the bro. That was wild. That was good. That was really cool. I think it's the best nurse shark rub footage I've ever seen. 
Look at this thing like just it's spring like, into action. Look, using his he's fingers. Like, fingers. It's like a hand, like a hand, like, 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 like transition and roll. And look, he's pulling it up with his nose. He's very clever. So it's, it is probably spun 180 degrees at this point now. It's <laughs> honestly using his fins. As, oh, oh, as, oh, oh, it's like feet. Oh, oh. Wow. This is like honestly really cool the behavior. Oh, he's getting some of it out. Interesting. Look at the it's light. Dark, you know. We Crazy. want tiger. We want tiger. I, and I know we want tiger, but this is absolutely beautiful. This is beautiful. <laughs> I love bro. I love lamp. <laughs> 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 <laughs>